Whoa. Hey, Chris. Those are Jaws. Jaws berries. Berries? What? Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah. Like they got like the ocean on them. They feel good too. Like they feed water or something. Those are pretty cool. You got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How much is this one? Uh, I for 45. It's more, but I need for 45 again. 45? Would you do 35? No, it's 45. I don't can go lower. You can't go lower? No. Not 40? No, because I'm a spider. How much on these ones? 65. 65. Yeah. Can I see? How much are those? This 45. 45. Okay. I think I'm ready. Okay. Okay. See what we got? Okay. This. See. Go to that. Yeah. This when you. You too late. Because I don't think it's even. No. It is. This 100. You see, I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 60. 140. 75. How much are those? See the ASICs? These ones? Um, yeah, they're pretty good. Size. Two hundred. No more. Okay. No. 210. 210? Yeah, I need to. Let's go. Okay, so on that first buy, I got the Hoka sneakers, the Hoka shoes. I got the Doc Martin boots, and I got the, the Tory Birch purse, which could be a really good buy. And then my buddy got some brand new Crocs, which he paid me back for. So he gave me $30 back for those. And then the, um, the Asics, like dad shoes, I think I'm going to keep them. They're probably worth like $70, $80. Uh, but they're really comfortable and I like them. So I think I might keep those. But the Asics, the Doc Martens, the Hoka, and the Tory Burch purse, minus the 30 bucks that my buddy gave me back, that leaves me with a buy cost of $180 on that first buy. And realistically, I think I can make the whole $180 back just on that Tory Burch purse, maybe more, which means that the Doc Martin boots and the Hokas are pure profit and my ASIC shoes are free. Really good. It's like game. a $20, $25 game. Really? Yeah. Because it's complete. It looks really good. It looks like brand new, yeah. Looks brand new. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's find the person. Is this one yours? Yeah. How much is it? There. Yeah. Two. Two? Okay. Thank you. Two bucks is really good for that. A little fighting force. You ever play this game? I don't think I have. I don't think I have either. It looks like Street Fighter kind of. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It's like yeah, a it's, it's side scroller. Powers and stuff. <laughs> 10 bucks on the Hershey machine. Let's go. Oh no, man. You got a milkshake machine and I got a PlayStation game. I guess we got stuff to test. Dude, we're doing good. <laughs> we're yeah, playing. Stuff to test. <laughs> Size. I don't know where the size is on these things. Is it underneath this question? Yeah, no, no, no. That's strange. Oh, there it is. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Six. W6. Woman size six. Thank you. 
75. You would do 100 bucks with these? 85, 10 dollars. What's that? 85. 85 for everything? 85. 85? 85. Okay. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how that negotiation went, but that was hilarious. One of the best ones I've ever seen. I mean, I don't know what to do, because I offered 100, and then he said 85, and I thought he meant without the dog markers. Yes, it was. I said... He said 85, and that's all good. Don't do it. some on crowd. Yeah. Yes. Nino or Nino. Where's the other one? How much are these? I buy that shit for me, but I just You buy them for you? <laughs> yeah, but I have another pair. Okay. Different color. Yeah. It's kinda good condition. They are actually pretty good condition, yeah. Yeah. If you want to give me thirty dollars. Twenty five. No. Yeah, I come, on come on. Come on. Come nice. on. I, will, nice. I do. I do. All That's a right. good price. I like it. Thirty bucks good. Yeah. Good. If you come back next week it kinda tie for me. Okay. But I'll bring it. You're gonna buy more for yourself so I can buy the next time? <laughs> yeah, I have like you know, green light green. Okay, okay. I don't need a bag. These are actually alley size. And these are like the um the trail ones. Oh yeah. That way they're more aggressive on the ball. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Like Great condition. So we'll see if she wants them. She pulled these out for twenty five bucks. So I paid fifty five for two pairs. And you offered Great 30. deal. Yeah. I did offer thirty. She's super sweet. And I love people like that. Whoa, look at that mask. That's cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, decoration, yeah. It's beautiful. So two two dollars? I'll take this yeah. two. Dude, look at that thing. Ooh, That's maybe? cool. Yeah. It's pretty nice too. It's super nice. How much on that? Quanto lo va a dar when el el cost forty bucks? Thirty? Forty, yeah. Damn, that's a good deal. That's pretty nice for putting in the, you know, on the wall. Yeah. Decoration. I kind of want to send Allie a picture, see if she wants it. Let me send my wife a picture, see okay, if she wants what? it. All right, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll leave now. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I like yeah, that. Yeah, put a decoration here. Yeah. My wife's very excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Thank you so much. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That is so nice. Dude, heck yeah. Love you, no. And you got the hat with it? Nice. Probably get 15 bucks for that. Well, what a shoe haul. That's probably the most shoes we've ever bought at a flea market. Prices were decent. There's definitely room. I think we'll, there's probably room to maybe double our money. Let me show you all the pairs that we bought because today was definitely mostly, mostly shoes. We've got the On Clouds. These are a size, woman size seven. I'm gonna see if Allie wants these. Nice pair of men's Vapor Max. The old school Reeboks. We've actually sold these before. These are in great condition. Another pair of On Cloud in amazing condition. These are a woman's size eight and a half. Really nice pair of docks. Really, really nice. Great condition. That like red burgundy patent leather. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got the PlayStation game too. For what was this? $2 into probably 25. And the vintage Miami Dolphins hat. Pretty nice. I actually got this thrown in because I didn't have change, but I got that gigantic mask and the dolphin's hat for $30 for the pair. What else we got? The Hoka sandals, pretty nice. Woman size six, good condition. We've got the High Top Noble. This is a great brand, everybody. If you don't know this one, look it up. And then I got the Lowe's as well. So we got the, the High Top ones and then also the Lowe's. And then the big size Hoka's, great condition on these. Really, really nice. These are a size 12D. I didn't look these up, but I really like them. Um, I gotta see what size are they. They're a size nine and a half, so they actually might fit me. I'm gonna try them on, and then if they fit me, I'll keep them. I love ASIC shoes, and this is a really, really cool pair. And then another pair of Hoka Oneone, again, in really good condition. We got another pair of Doc Martens, also in amazing condition. And then last but not least, we've got the Tory Burch Tote. Definitely is genuine. It's kind of like a salmon orange color. Good condition, little Tory Burch Tote. <laughs> Yeah.
So it's uh, it's Sunday now, and usually I don't like to work on the weekends, but Allie and Callie are both on vacation ish ish vacation. Uh, they'll be back tomorrow, um, but I didn't just want to sit around today. And it's a nice day out, so I decided to take a drive back out to the warehouse. And I'm gonna catch up on some shipping just to get that out of the way, and then I can go spend the rest of the day doing whatever I want to do. But we actually have a lot of shipping to do. I have a hundred Harley shirts that have to be shipped out from a whatnot show. And then we had some decent eBay sales yesterday, some good shoes that sold. So what I figured is I'm gonna do the shipping. And then as I ship, I wanna talk about like how we're able to flip shoes from flea markets and what sort of like prices we look for, how we take our pictures, how we present the shoes, what platforms we sell them on, mainly because I feel like shoes are one of the best things for people to start with in reselling. Doesn't necessarily mean that you should go full force into shoes unless you're passionate about that. But I do think it is like a very low barrier of entry. Everybody wears shoes, shoes sell really well on platforms and they're readily available. They're at flea markets, they're at thrift stores. You can find them at garage sales. So I'll talk about that a little bit more and um, let's get the shipping done. So the first tip I can give you when it comes to shoes is we always try to look for shoes that are already in good condition. So we don't wanna to spend too much time cleaning the shoes and getting them to look really nice unless they are worth it. So if they're like, you know, worth a couple hundred dollars, we'll put the time and effort into cleaning them. But usually we want them in good condition. Now, when we take the pictures, what we do is we tuck the laces back into the shoe like that, just because to me, that looks a whole lot better than the laces tied in the front. It's just a much cleaner way to present the shoes. Another tip when it comes to shipping is you can get these mailing boxes, these priority mailing shoe boxes. You can get these straight on the USPS.com website for free. Obviously it costs money to ship the items, but the actual boxes themselves you can get for free. Now, after you've made the sale, your work doesn't end. You still wanna present the shoes well to get good feedback. So we use bubble wrap. You can use like paper, shipping paper if you want, but try to stuff the shoes just to keep the form really nice when, when you go to ship them. And then we individually wrap each shoe in bubble wrap as well, just to protect the outside of the shoe. So once they're wrapped up, they should slide nicely into our priority shoe mailing box. But before we do that, we always include a thank you card. A lot of people think that the thank you cards don't work, but we've done lots and lots of tests and we definitely get more positive feedback by putting thank you cards in our packages. So we just have these little custom ones that we get printed. It costs us like two or three cents per card. So for us, it's totally worth it. The other thing is it puts a little personality behind the item that you're shipping. So a lot of times when people buy something, they think it's just coming from a company. It's just coming from Amazon. It's just coming from eBay. But by putting a little thank you card in there, it lets them know we are actual people. There's people behind the products and you will get more people reaching out to you if there is an issue instead of leaving negative feedback and you'll definitely get more positive feedback. So consider using thank you cards. So those slide nicely into the box. Thank you card on top. And then we tape up the box. A lot of people ask about the eBay branded tape as well. We get this for free. eBay, well, technically for free. eBay sends out a shipping supply coupon every quarter if you have an eBay store. And we basically just use the coupon to buy more eBay tape. So we haven't technically paid for shipping tape in like years because they, they keep sending us coupons to get tape. Oh, by the way, guys and girls, we are opening up our little reseller group again. We haven't opened it in, I think, over two years now, but we finally have some more free time to kind of give back and help other resellers. So that group we are going to open up again. It's super cheap to join. We try to make it like as affordable as possible so enough people can join, but we can still give you guys as much information as we can. So it's going to be $100 a year to jump into that group. I promise you'll learn enough in that group in the first day to pay for that $99 for the year. So if you are interested, I'll leave a link in the description of today's video or just go to rallyroots.com and put your email address in and we'll shoot you an email when we open up spots. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at this pair in particular. As you guys can see, the pictures are really important when it comes to selling an item as well. You want nice, clean pictures on a white background if possible, but you just want your pictures to be really nice and presentable. See how the laces are tucked in? as well. It just looks a lot cleaner when doing it that way. So this pair of no bull shoes we had listed at $74.77. It did have best offer on and we took an offer for $60. So they sold for $60. Our eBay fees 
about $7.20. Now, where did we get them and how much did we pay for them? This particular pair was sourced from Goodwill and we paid $10 for them. So our buy cost, our buy cost was minus $10. Sold for 60, $7.20 in fees, buy cost of $10. But that's not the end game. Obviously we had to ship the item out and that costs money. Our shipping cost buying the label through eBay, it's gonna cost us $8.82 to ship them out. So now we can look at the final number. They sold for $60, but that's not our profit. And I wanna show what our net profit is. So after fees, after shipping, how much money did we actually make? So they sold for $60, again, eBay fees, $7.20, buy cost of $10 our shipping cost of $8.82. That leaves us with a net profit of right around $34. Not too bad, that's three times in our money. We paid $10 for them and after everything all said and done, we spent the time to list them. Obviously there's time in shipping, there's time in going out and finding the items and all that, but we stole three times our money, which is a really, really good return and that's why we like shoes. Found them at a thrift store, put them up on eBay. These sold in like two days, by the way for $60, which gives us a net return, a net profit of 34 bucks. Now here's the thing, it doesn't always go that well. Sometimes you have to pay more money and we always preach like, it's okay to pay up for something. If you know it's gonna sell for a decent amount of money, pay up for it. It's not always about buying something for a dollar and flipping it for a hundred dollars. Sometimes you pay $25 for something and sell it for 60 bucks, which is almost exactly the case of these Rothy shoes. If you watched our New York thrifting series, you saw that we picked up a bunch of these pairs of Rothy shoes and we paid right around $22 a piece on average. This pair of Rothy's sold for us on eBay for $59 with free shipping. Now, luckily for us, Rothy's are a very light shoe. So we can package these up still nicely, still in a professional way but we can ship them first class because they're gonna weigh under 16 ounces. So to ship them out, it's only gonna cost us $6.78. So let's break down the profit on these. We got a $59 sale price. We have a about a $7 fees on those. Our buy cost, high buy cost, $22. And then our shipping cost around $7 leaves us with a net profit of $23. Again, pay $22 for them. So it's still a 100% return on investment. A lot of people would shy away paying $22 for a pair of shoes at a thrift store. But when it's the right pair, when you know that the sell through rate is good and it's gonna sell quickly, cause that's the idea. You don't wanna hold on to inventory that's just gonna sit there and never sell. You wanna take a look at what's called the sell through rate. So how many items are listed compared to how many items have sold. But either way, what I'm saying is you can't shy away from an item just because it's an expensive buy cost. If I was like, hey, I'm not paying $22 for a pair of shoes. I only pay $5 for shoes. Then I never would have bought them and somebody else would have come in and scooped them and made a net profit of $23. So don't be scared. If you know what you're doing and you know that the item's good, buy it. Remember, the name of the game here is turnover, especially when you're a new reseller and you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of capital to put into stuff. You wanna buy stuff that sells quickly. You don't wanna hold on to stuff that's gonna just take up space and take up your money and then you're not getting the money back. You're not able to put it into other stuff. Buy stuff with a good sell-through rate, buy good brands. Make sure that you're looking up what is actually selling right now. Brands like Doc Martens, like OnCloud, like Hoka. You know, one of the most common questions we get from people, again, especially new resellers is, hey, I have all this inventory, I'm taking good pictures, I'm listing them for good prices, I think I'm doing a really good job, I'm promoting the items, my stuff's just not selling, it's sitting there. Why is it sitting there? Well, it could be a few different reasons, but most of the time, it's because you're buying items that are not desirable. You have to look at that sell-through rate and you have to find items that people actually want. I can list anything on eBay for any price. I could list something for a dollar that I think is worth a hundred dollars, but if nobody wants it, it's not gonna sell. And then a couple more quick tips when it comes to listing shoes. We like to do free shipping. You don't have to do free shipping, but we find that our items sell faster when we do free shipping. You wanna put in high quality, good pictures. You can use your phone if you want, but you wanna make sure you're showing the full scope of the item. We have these little shoe horn thingies that we put in there just to keep the form of the shoe looking really nice. Again, multiple angles so people can see all the shoes. Any flaws, show the toes up close. Obviously show the size, show underneath the shoe. You don't have to do all 12 
12 pictures, you just want to make sure everything is shown in there. And as far as eBay goes, put in as many item specifics as you can. You don't have to fill all of them out, but the more you can, the better. The item description, as you can see, we keep it very simple. You don't have to do like crazy HTML. Just keep it simple. The stuff will sell. And once again, the most important thing when you're reselling shoes is to check the sell-through rate. So if I'm selling a pair of OnCloud shoes, men's size 10 black, I want to go to eBay, type that in, and look at how many results there are. And not just for everything, but I want to go down and specifically click on pre-owned if my shoes are used. So pre-owned, let's see here, OnCloud men's size 10 black. Pre-owned, there are 340 results. Those are active listings on eBay. So how you check the sell-through rate is again, you scroll down to the left-hand side and you click on this little button right here that says sold items. Click on sold. So 195 results for sold in that color, in that size. Now I can go and look at how much they're selling for, which ones are selling and find my exact same shoes. And then how you determine the sell-through rate is you just take the sold. So there were 195 pairs sold and you divide it by the active listings. 340 active listings gives us a sell-through rate of around 57%, which is good. That means if you list your item for the right price, take good pictures, make sure that they are listed the right way, there's a 57% chance that you will sell that item very quickly. And again, that's why sell-through rate is so important because if you calculated that sell-through rate and let's say it was 10%, that's probably not a pair that I would even consider buying because it means that people just really aren't on eBay shopping for that item. So always check that sell-through rate. Obviously there's things that just won't be on there. There's unique items that sometimes it's, you know, sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble, but we like to keep it that 80-20 rule. We like 80% of our stuff to sell very quickly with a high sell-through rate. And then 20%, we don't mind. It's called long tail items. We don't mind buying stuff. As long as we're not investing too much money in it, we don't mind buying stuff that sits for a little bit to find the right buyer. But if you want your items to sell fast, check that sell-through rate and try to keep it above that 50% mark, just because that'll keep your items moving quickly. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Everyone, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I read every single comment that comes in on our YouTube channel, whether they're good or bad, I still respect you guys and I wanna hear from you. So please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And thanks again for taking the time to watch today's video. Hopefully you learned something and it helped out a little bit. That's the overall goal of what we do. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Bye.